welcome back to Soki Sunrise. The Family at Richmond Center in Bowling Green is working hard to make sure children in Kentucky are safe. And during the pandemic, it's more important than ever. WNKY's Lexi Schweiner has the story in this week's Monday Motivator. Since 1979, the Family in Richmond Center has been working to make the lives of children better. For over 41 years, we have been working diligently to try to keep children safe in our community. The nonprofit organization offers adoptions and fostering parenting classes, in-home education, safe spots, and a child care center, to name a few. One of their main missions is to prevent abuse in children. Child abuse is 100% preventable. Um, and Kentucky, um, the statistics for Kentucky are staggering. We don't want to be number one in child abuse. And right now with the pandemic, keeping children safe is more important than ever. Most people are at their homes more than they were before and there are less outsiders watching. Frankly, not another set of eyes on kids. School is a great place for other people to see kids and might notice something that doesn't look right. In addition to preventing abuse, fostering and adopting children is another main mission of the center. Right now in the 17 counties of Two Rivers region, over 1,300 children are in foster care and over 300 are looking for their forever family. Center Adoption Director Denise says it hits close to home as her four sons are adopted. It's a cause that's really, you know, it's very, it hits very close to home, obviously. It's just important. I mean, you know, if, if it hadn't have been for foster care adoption, you know, they our paths would have never crossed. And, and so, you know, I've got my four beautiful boys. And, and, you know, I think everybody should have that. <laughs> One positive that has come out of COVID is Denise said they've seen an increase in the number of families completing training to become a foster parent. Sometimes in person, you know, we might have 20 people here, which is, you know, a lot of people. Well, now on Zoom, we'll have like 50. And it's like, whoa. Denise said this is because people can do the training from the comfort of their own home. COVID has taken a toll, though, as they are supported through their fundraising efforts, which are down 40 percent. But two local men ran a 234-mile ultra run throughout the past week in support of the Family Enrichment Center. One of the men, Brent Sanford, is a foster parent himself. When they make their stops at the different areas that they stop, that, you know, Brent can share his story and talk about how important it is for him. Thanks for watching this week's Monday Motivator. For Soki Sunrise, I'm Lexi Schweinert.